The old quantum theory is a collection of results from the years 1900 to 1925 which predate modern quantum mechanics. The theory was never complete or self-consistent, but was rather a set of heuristic corrections to classical mechanics. The theory is now understood as the semi-classical approximation to modern quantum mechanics. The main tool of the old quantum theory was the Bohr-Sommerfeld quantization condition, a procedure for selecting out certain states of a classical system as allowed states. The system can then only exist in one of the allowed states and not in any other state. History The old quantum theory was sparked by the 1900 work of Max Planck on the emission and absorption of light, and began in earnest after the work of Albert Einstein on the specific heats of solids. Einstein, followed by Debye, applied quantum principles to the motion of atoms, explaining the specific heat anomaly. In 1913, Niels Bohr identified the correspondence principle and used it to formulate a model of the hydrogen atom which explained the line spectrum. In the next few years Arnold Sommerfeld extended the quantum rule to arbitrary integrable systems making use of the principle of adiabatic invariance of the quantum numbers introduced by Lorentz and Einstein. Sommerfeld made a crucial contribution by quantizing the z-component of the angular momentum, which in the old quantum era was called space quantization This allowed the orbits of the electron to be ellipses instead of circles, and introduced the concept of quantum degeneracy. The theory would have correctly explained the Zeeman effect, except for the issue of electron spin. Sommerfeld's model was much closer to the modern quantum mechanical picture than Bohr's. Throughout the 1910s and well into the 1920s, many problems were attacked using the old quantum theory with mixed results. Molecular rotation and vibration spectra were understood and the electron spin was discovered, leading to the confusion of half-integer quantum numbers. Max Planck introduced the zero-point energy and Arnold Sommerfeld semiclassically quantized the relativistic hydrogen atom. Hendrik Kramers explained the Stark effect. Bose and Einstein gave the correct quantum statistics for photons. Kramers gave a prescription for calculating transition probabilities between quantum states in terms of Fourier components of the motion, ideas which were extended in collaboration with Werner Heisenberg to a semiclassical matrix-like description of atomic transition probabilities. Heisenberg went on to reformulate all of quantum theory in terms of a version of these transition matrices, creating matrix mechanics. In 1924, Louis de Broglie introduced the wave theory of matter, which was extended to a semiclassical equation for matter waves by Albert Einstein a short time later. In 1926 Erwin Schrödinger found a completely quantum mechanical wave equation, which reproduced all the successes of the old quantum theory without ambiguities and inconsistencies. Schrödinger's wave mechanics developed separately from matrix mechanics until Schrödinger and others proved that the two methods predicted the same experimental consequences. Paul Dirac later proved in 1926 that both methods can be obtained from a more general method called transformation theory. In the 1950s Joseph Keller updated Bohr–Sommerfeld quantization using Einstein's interpretation of 1917, now known as einstein brillouin and keller method. In 1971, Martin Gutzwiller took into account that this method only works for integrable systems and derived a semiclassical way of quantizing chaotic systems from path integrals. Basic principles The basic idea of the old quantum theory is that the motion in an atomic system is quantized, or discrete. The system obeys classical mechanics except that not every motion is allowed, only those motions which obey the quantization condition H P Q equals E P I D 
Q I equals N I H Display style oint limits underscore H P Q equals E P underscore I D Q underscore I equals N underscore I H where the P I display style P underscore I are the momenta of the system and the Q I display style Q underscore I are the corresponding coordinates. The quantum numbers n i display style n underscore i are integers, and the integral is taken over one period of the motion at constant energy, as described by the Hamiltonian. The integral is an area in phase space, which is a quantity called the action, and is quantized in units of Planck's constant. For this reason, Planck's constant was often called the quantum of action. In order for the old quantum condition to make sense, the classical motion must be separable, meaning that there are separate coordinates q i display style q underscore i in terms of which the motion is periodic. The periods of the different motions do not have to be the same, they can even be incommensurate, but there must be a set of coordinates where the motion decomposes in a multi-periodic way. The motivation for the old quantum condition was the correspondence principle, complemented by the physical observation that the quantities which are quantized must be adiabatic invariants. Given Planck's quantization rule for the harmonic oscillator, either condition determines the correct classical quantity to quantize in a general system up to an additive constant. This quantization condition is often known as the Wilson-Sommerfeld rule, proposed independently by William Wilson and Arnold Sommerfeld. Examples. <laughs> <laughs> Topic: Thermal properties of the harmonic oscillator. The simplest system in the old quantum theory is the harmonic oscillator, whose Hamiltonian is H equals p two two m plus m omega two Q two two display style h equals p caret two over two meters plus m omega caret two q caret two over two. The old quantum theory yields a recipe for the quantization of the energy levels of the harmonic oscillator, which, when combined with the Boltzmann probability distribution of thermodynamics, yields the correct expression for the stored energy and specific heat of a quantum oscillator both at low and at ordinary temperatures. Applied as a model for the specific heat of solids, this resolved a discrepancy in pre quantum thermodynamics that had troubled 19th century scientists. Let us now describe this. The level sets of H are the orbits, and the quantum condition is that the area enclosed by an orbit in phase space is an integer. It follows that the energy is quantized according to the Planck rule E equals N omega display style E equals N H B A R omega a result which was known well before, and used to formulate the old quantum condition. This result differs by 1 2 omega display style frac 1 2 hbar omega from the results found with the help of quantum mechanics. This constant is neglected in the derivation of the old quantum theory, and its value cannot be determined using it. The thermal properties of a quantized oscillator may be found by averaging the energy in each of the discrete states assuming that they are occupied with a Boltzmann weight U equals N omega N E 
minus beta n omega n e minus beta n omega equals omega e minus beta omega 1 minus e minus beta omega w h e r e beta equals 1 k t Display style u equals sum underscore n h b a r omega ne carrot beta n h b a r omega over sum underscore n e carrot beta n h b a r omega equals h b a r omega e carrot beta h b a r omega over one e carrot beta h b a r omega erm where beta equals frac one k t Kt is Boltzmann constant times the absolute temperature, which is the temperature as measured in more natural units of energy. The quantity beta display style beta is more fundamental in thermodynamics than the temperature because it is the thermodynamic potential associated to the energy. From this expression, it is easy to see that for large values of beta display style beta for very low temperatures the average energy u in the harmonic oscillator approaches zero very quickly exponentially fast the reason is that kt is the typical energy of random motion at temperature t and when this is smaller than omega display style script style hbar omega there is not enough energy to give the oscillator even one quantum of energy. So the oscillator stays in its ground state, storing next to no energy at all. This means that at very cold temperatures, the change in energy with respect to beta, or equivalently the change in energy with respect to temperature, is also exponentially small. The change in energy with respect to temperature is the specific heat, so the specific heat is exponentially small at low temperatures, going to zero like exp minus omega k t display style exp hbar omega k t at small values of beta display style beta at high temperatures, the average energy U is equal to 1 beta equals K T display style 1 beta equals K T. This reproduces the equipartition theorem of classical thermodynamics. Every harmonic oscillator at temperature T has energy K T on average. This means that the specific heat of an oscillator is constant in classical mechanics and equal to K. For a collection of atoms connected by springs, a reasonable model of a solid, the total specific heat is equal to the total number of oscillators times K. There are overall three oscillators for each atom, corresponding to the three possible directions of independent oscillations in three dimensions. So the specific heat of a classical solid is always 3 K per atom, or in chemistry units, 3 R per mole of atoms. Monatomic solids at room temperatures have approximately the same specific heat of 3 K per atom, but at low temperatures they don't. The specific heat is smaller at colder temperatures, and it goes to zero at absolute zero. This is true for all material systems, and this observation is called the third law of thermodynamics. Classical mechanics cannot explain the third law, because in classical mechanics the specific heat is independent of the temperature. This contradiction between classical mechanics and the specific heat of cold materials was noted by James Clerk Maxwell in the 19th century, and remained a deep puzzle for those who advocated an atomic theory of matter. 
Einstein resolved this problem in 1906 by proposing that atomic motion is quantized. This was the first application of quantum theory to mechanical systems. A short while later, Peter Debye gave a quantitative theory of solid specific heats in terms of quantized oscillators with various frequencies. See Einstein solid and Debye model. Topic: <laughs> One-dimensional potential U equals zero. One-dimensional problems are easy to solve. At any energy e, the value of the momentum p is found from the conservation equation 2 m e minus v q equals p display style sqrt 2 meters e v q equals p which is integrated over all values of q between the classical turning points, the places where the momentum vanishes. The integral is easiest for a particle in a box of length l, where the quantum condition is 2 0 l p d q equals n h Display style two int underscore zero carrot L P D Q equals N H which gives the allowed momenta P equals N H two L Display style P equals N H over two L and the energy levels E N equals P two two M equals N two H two eight M L two Display style E underscore N equals P carrot two over two meters equals N carrot two H carrot two over eight milliliters carrot two Topic One dimensional potential U equals FX Another easy case to solve with the old quantum theory is a linear potential on the positive half line, the constant confining force F binding a particle to an impenetrable wall. This case is much more difficult in the full quantum mechanical treatment, and unlike the other examples, the semiclassical answer here is not exact but approximate, becoming more accurate at large quantum numbers. 2 0 e F two M E minus F X D X equals N H Display style two int underscore zero carrot FRAC E F S Q R T two meters E F X D X equals N H so that the quantum condition is 4 3 2 m e 3 2 f equals n h display style 4 over 3 sqrt 2 meters e caret 3 halves over f equals n h which determines the energy levels e n equals 3 n h f 4 2 m 2 3 Display style E underscore N equals left three NHF over four SQRT two meters right carrot two thirds. In the specific case F equals MG, the particle is confined by the gravitational potential of the Earth and the wall. Here is the surface of the Earth. 
Topic: One-dimensional potential u equals one half k x squared. This case is also easy to solve, and the semiclassical answer here agrees with the quantum one to within the ground state energy. Its quantization condition integral is two minus two e k two e k two m e minus one two k x two d x equals n h Display style two int underscore SQRT FRAC two E K carrot SQRT FRAC two E K SQRT two meters left E FRAC one two KX carrot two right DX equals NH with solution E equals N H two Pi K M equals N Omega Display style E equals N FRAC H two Pi SQRT FRAC K M equals N H B A R Omega For oscillation angular frequency Omega Display style Omega as before topic rotator another simple system is the rotator a rotator consists of a mass m at the end of a massless rigid rod of length r and in two dimensions has the lagrangian l equals m r 2 2 theta 2 Display style L equals Mr. Carrot two over two dot theta carrot two which determines that the angular momentum J conjugate to theta Display style theta the polar angle J equals M R two theta Display style script style j equals Mr. Carrot two dot theta. The old quantum condition requires that j multiplied by the period of theta. Display style theta is an integer multiple of Planck's constant two pi j equals n h. Display style two pi j equals n h. The angular momentum to be an integer multiple of display style script style h b a r. In the Bohr model, this restriction imposed on circular orbits was enough to determine the energy levels. In three dimensions, a rigid rotator can be described by two angles theta display style script style theta and phi display style script style phi where theta display style script style theta is the inclination relative to an arbitrarily chosen z axis while phi display style script style phi is the rotator angle in the projection to the xy plane the kinetic energy is again the only contribution to the Lagrangian L equals M R two two theta two plus M R two two sin theta phi two 
display style l equals mr caret 2 over 2 dot theta caret 2 plus mr caret 2 over 2 sin theta dot phi caret 2 and the conjugate momenta are p theta equals theta display style script style p underscore theta equals dot theta and p phi equals sin theta 2 phi display style script style p underscore phi equals sin theta caret 2 dot phi the equation of motion for phi display style script style phi is trivial p phi display style script style p underscore phi is a constant p phi equals l phi display style p underscore phi equals l underscore phi which is the z component of the angular momentum the quantum condition demands that the integral of the constant l phi Display style script style l underscore phi as phi display style script style phi varies from zero to two pi display style two pi is an integer multiple of h l phi equals m Display style l underscore phi equals m h b a r, and m is called the magnetic quantum number because the z component of the angular momentum is the magnetic moment of the rotator along the z direction in the case where the particle at the end of the rotator is charged. Since the three-dimensional rotator is rotating about an axis, the total angular momentum should be restricted in the same way as the two-dimensional rotator. The two quantum conditions restrict the total angular momentum and the z component of the angular momentum to be the integers l, m. This condition is reproduced in modern quantum mechanics, but in the era of the old quantum theory it led to a paradox, how can the orientation of the angular momentum relative to the arbitrarily chosen z-axis be quantized? This seems to pick out a direction in space. This phenomenon, the quantization of angular momentum about an axis, was given the name space quantization, because it seemed incompatible with rotational invariance. In modern quantum mechanics, the angular momentum is quantized the same way, but the discrete states of definite angular momentum in any one orientation are quantum superpositions of the states in other orientations, so that the process of quantization does not pick out a preferred axis. For this reason, the name, space quantization, fell out of favor, and the same phenomenon is now called the quantization of angular momentum. <laughs> <laughs> Hydrogen atom The angular part of the hydrogen atom is just the rotator, and gives the quantum numbers L and M. The only remaining variable is the radial coordinate, which executes a periodic one-dimensional potential motion, which can be solved. For a fixed value of the total angular momentum L, the Hamiltonian for a classical Kepler problem is the unit of mass and unit of energy redefined to absorb two constants H equals P 2 2 plus l 2 2 r 2 minus 1 r display style h equals p caret 2 over 2 plus l caret 2 over 2 r caret 2 1 over r Fixing the energy to be a negative constant and solving for the radial momentum p, the quantum condition integral is 2 2 e minus l 
2 r 2 plus 2 r d r equals k h display style 2 point sqrt 2 e l caret 2 over r caret 2 plus 2 over r doctor equals k h which can be solved with the method of residues and gives a new quantum number k display style k which determines the energy in combination with l display style l the energy is e equals minus 1 2 k plus L two display style e equals one over two k plus l caret two, and it only depends on the sum of k and l, which is the principal quantum number n. Since k is positive, the allowed values of l for any given n are no bigger than n. The energies reproduce those in the Bohr model, except with the correct quantum mechanical multiplicities, with some ambiguity at the extreme values. The semiclassical hydrogen atom is called the Sommerfeld model, and its orbits are ellipses of various sizes at discrete inclinations. The Sommerfeld model predicted that the magnetic moment of an atom measured along an axis will only take on discrete values, a result which seems to contradict rotational invariance but which was confirmed by the stern gerlach experiment. This Bohr-Sommerfeld theory is a significant step in the development of quantum mechanics. It also describes the possibility of atomic energy levels being split by a magnetic field called the Zeeman effect. Topic: <inaudible> Relativistic orbit. Arnold Sommerfeld derived the relativistic solution of atomic energy levels. We will start this derivation with the relativistic equation for energy in the electric potential W equals M zero C two one one minus V two C two minus one minus K Z E two R display style W equals M underscore mathem zero C carrot two left FRAC one SQRT one FRAC V carrot two C carrot two minus one right K FRAC Z carrot two R after substitution U equals one R Display style U equals FRAC one R we get one one minus V two C two equals one plus W M zero C two plus K Z E two M zero C two U Display style FRAC one SQRT one FRAC V carrot two C carrot two equals one plus FRAC WM underscore mathem zero C carrot two plus K FRAC Z carrot two M underscore mathem zero C carrot two U for momentum P R equals M R display style p underscore mathrm r equals m dot r p phi equals m 
R two Phi Display style P underscore Mathem Varfi equals Mr. Carrot two dot Varfi and their ratio P R P Phi equals minus D U D Phi Display style FRAC P underscore Mathem R P underscore Mathem Varfi equals FRAC do D Varfi. The equation of motion is C Binet equation D two U D Phi two equals minus one minus K two Z two E four C two P Phi two U plus M zero K Z E two P Phi two one plus W M zero C two equals minus Omega zero two U plus K Display style FRAC D carrot two U D Varfi carrot two equals left one K carrot two FRAC Z carrot two E carrot four C carrot two P underscore Mathem Varfi carrot two right U plus FRAC M underscore Mathem zero K Z E carrot two P underscore Mathem Varfi carrot two left one plus FRAC W M underscore mathem zero C carrot two right equals Omega underscore mathem zero carrot two U plus K with solution U equals one R equals K plus a cos Omega zero Phi Display style U equals FRAC one R equals K plus A cos Omega underscore Mathem zero Varfi. The angular shift of periopsis per revolution is given by Phi S equals two Pi one Omega zero minus one approximately equals four pi three K two Z two E four C two N Phi two H two Display style varphi underscore mathem s equals two pi left frac one omega underscore mathem zero minus one right approximately four pi carrot three k carrot two frac z carrot two e carrot four c carrot two n underscore mathem varphi carrot two h carrot two with the quantum conditions p phi D Phi equals two Pi P Phi equals N Phi H Display style oint P underscore Mathem Varfi D Varfi equals two Pi P underscore Mathem Varfi equals N underscore Mathem Varfi H and P 
R D R equals P Phi one R D R D Phi two D Phi equals N R H Display style oint p underscore mathem r doctor equals p underscore mathem var phi oint left frac one r frac doctor d var phi right carrot two d var phi equals n underscore mathem r h. We will obtain energies w m zero c two equals 1 plus alpha 2 z 2 n r plus n phi 2 minus alpha 2 z 2 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 Display style FRAC WM underscore mathem zero C carrot two equals left one plus FRAC alpha carrot two Z carrot two N underscore mathem R plus SQRT N underscore mathem Varfi carrot two alpha carrot two Z carrot two carrot two right carrot minus one half minus one where alpha Display style alpha is the fine structure constant. This solution, using substitutions for quantum numbers, is equivalent to the solution of the Dirac equation. Nevertheless, both solutions fail to predict the Lamb shifts. Topic: De Broglie waves. In 1905, Einstein noted that the entropy of the quantized electromagnetic field oscillators in a box is, for short wavelength, equal to the entropy of a gas of point particles in the same box. The number of point particles is equal to the number of quanta. Einstein concluded that the quanta could be treated as if they were localizable objects. See page 139 140th, particles of light, and named them photons. Einstein's theoretical argument was based on thermodynamics, on counting the number of states, and so was not completely convincing. Nevertheless, he concluded that light had attributes of both waves and particles, more precisely that an electromagnetic standing wave with frequency omega display style omega with the quantized energy e equals n omega display style e equals n h b a r omega should be thought of as consisting of n photons each with an energy omega display style script style h b a r omega einstein could not describe how the photons were related to the wave the photons have momentum as well as energy, and the momentum had to be k. Display style script style h b a r k, where k. Display style k is the wave number of the electromagnetic wave. This is required by relativity because the momentum and energy form a four vector, as do the frequency and wave number. In 1924, as a Ph.D. candidate, Louis de Broglie proposed a new interpretation of the quantum condition. He suggested that all matter, electrons as well as photons, are described by waves obeying the relations. P equals K displaystyle P equals HBARK or, expressed in terms of wavelength, Lambda display style lambda 
instead p equals h lambda display style p equals h over lambda he then noted that the quantum condition p d x equals k d x equals 2 pi n Display style int p dx equals h bar int k dx equals two pi h bar n counts the change in phase for the wave as it travels along the classical orbit and requires that it be an integer multiple of two pi display style two pi expressed in wavelengths the number of wavelengths along a classical orbit must be an integer. This is the condition for constructive interference, and it explained the reason for quantized orbits. The matter waves make standing waves only at discrete frequencies, at discrete energies. For example, for a particle confined in a box, a standing wave must fit an integer number of wavelengths between twice the distance between the walls. The condition becomes n lambda equals 2 l display style n lambda equals 2 l so that the quantized momenta are p equals n h 2 l display style p equals frac n h 2 l reproducing the old quantum energy levels this development was given a more mathematical form by Einstein, who noted that the phase function for the waves theta j x display style theta j x in a mechanical system should be identified with the solution to the Hamilton-Jacobi equation, an equation which Schrödinger considered to be a short wavelength limit of a sort of wave mechanics, ending up with a description satisfying his equation. Topic: <laughs> Kramer's transition matrix. The old quantum theory was formulated only for special mechanical systems which could be separated into action angle variables which were periodic. It did not deal with the emission and absorption of radiation. Nevertheless, Hendrik Kramers was able to find heuristics for describing how emission and absorption should be calculated. Kramers suggested that the orbits of a quantum system should be Fourier analyzed, decomposed into harmonics at multiples of the orbit frequency x n t equals k equals minus infinity infinity e i k omega T x n k display style x underscore n t equals sum underscore k equals n a t caret n a t e caret ik omega t x underscore n k. The index n describes the quantum numbers of the orbit. It would be n l m in the Sommerfeld model. The frequency omega display style omega is the angular frequency of the orbit 2 pi t n display style script style 2 pi t underscore n while k is an index for the fourier mode bohr had suggested that the kth harmonic of the classical motion correspond to the transition from level n to level n minus k Kramers proposed that the transition between states were analogous to classical emission of radiation, which happens at frequencies at multiples of the orbit frequencies. The rate of emission of radiation is proportional to x k 2 
Display style x underscore k caret two as it would be in classical mechanics. The description was approximate, since the Fourier components did not have frequencies that exactly match the energy spacings between levels. This idea led to the development of matrix mechanics. Topic: <laughs> Limitations. The old quantum theory had some limitations. The old quantum theory provides no means to calculate the intensities of the spectral lines. It fails to explain the anomalous Zeeman effect that is, where the spin of the electron cannot be neglected. It cannot quantize chaotic systems, i.e. dynamical systems in which trajectories are neither closed nor periodic and whose analytical form does not exist. This presents a problem for systems as simple as a two-electron atom which is classically chaotic analogously to the famous gravitational three-body problem, however it can be used to describe atoms with more than one electron e helium, and the Zeeman effect. It was later proposed that the old quantum theory is in fact the semi-classical approximation to the canonical quantum mechanics but its limitations are still under investigation.